I wish someone had told me about these Elementor hacks sooner because I was pulling my hair out all summer while we're doing our website. Hi, my name is Zachary. I'm a social media manager and designer here at Adoram, and we're going to rapid fire some Elementor tips, so let's get into it. This first tip is incredible if you're terrible at finding things in the back end like me. Hit Command E to bring up a search bar and you can search for anything. Blog posts, pages, you name it. Here's something very cool if you're using the 2025 version of Elementor. So you can actually copy widgets between domains. So here we have one. Let's copy. And then you can paste it into a different Elementor site. If you're changing URLs around your website, it can break stuff, which sucks. Here's how you fix that. Go down here to Elementor and go to Tools, and it's going to bring you to this page. Go to Replace URL, put the old one in, the new one in, and hit Replace, and it should fix a lot of those issues, but the old one still might be in some of the CSS. So go to General and hit Clear Files and Data, and it'll fix that for you as well. If you're working on a page and you're not sure where something is sitting, maybe you need to edit something, Click here to see the entire skeletal structure of the page, and it's really good for just getting a bird's eye view of where everything is. Let's say hypothetically, we want this CTA button to go to the end of the page instead of sending someone to a different page. Here's how you do it. So click on it, and we're gonna type in end under link, and it doesn't matter what you name it, it just has to match, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So let's scroll down to the bottom. And we're gonna click on the container. Under CSS ID, type in end. And it should work. And like I said, this just has to match what you put in the button up here. So let's test it out. And there we go, works flawlessly. Unchain full plug real quick. If you're loving these tips, please consider subscribing because it really helps us out. It's going to unlock more features for us and allow us to keep creating great content for you. Let's get back to the tips. Here's another simple tip that's a huge time saver. So I want to use this ending on several pages. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on it and click save as template. And we're going to pick inner circle. There we go. And now we could easily insert this on other pages. Here's another time saver for you. So let's say I really like this button. Let's right click and hit save by default. So that next time I need a button, it looks just like the one I like. Here's how you can very quickly do a gradient button in Elementor. So we have one right here. Let's click on it. Go to box shadow. Go to color. We're going to choose this red right here. Go to position and set and then kind of play with the settings until it looks just how you want. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Here's a hidden feature if you're a big fan of keyboard shortcuts. Hit command question mark and it'll bring up a whole bunch of them that you can memorize. I'll screenshot this and put a downloadable version in the description. Here's a tip if you mess things up as much as I do. Click on this time icon up here and you can see recent actions that you've taken. Hit revisions and scroll down and you can go back to one of these earlier versions just by clicking on it. So if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this other one I did on Figma tips because some of that stuff is mind blowing. Like it'll really speed up your workflow. My name is Zachary Mims and I'll catch you in the next one.